I want to go over a few things on the keyboard and the rockers. Now they're very quiet. All you're hearing now is the mechanism itself and when it's connected to the micro switches the micro switch is putting a little bit of spring tension pulls that down. I took all of these and rolled them over and I put a piece of carbon paper across here and operated the keys, wiggled these around a little bit and the carbon paper made an impression on the bottom side of the rockers and at each point that was marked I drilled a 5 16 hole and installed these little what's called a felt punching. These are used in piano and organ repair. And you can see all those little punchings in there. So now the felt is hitting those screw heads instead of wood. And those screw heads, they go down to raise the key or you adjust them up to lower the key. You can see this key going, when I raise this rocker, that key goes down. So those screws are used for leveling the keyboard. I'm using quarter inch bamboo doll for the push rods. Go from the keys up to these rockers. This quarter inch doll is sized a lot more accurate than any of the wood doll that you can buy in a hardware store. Passes right through that quarter inch hole very firmly and generally speaking they're quite straight. The bamboo is very stable in terms of temperature and weather changes. All the keys and all the rockers have a quarter inch piece of tubing pushed in there to act as a bushing. And that runs on 730 seconds piano wire. So that's very smooth. But that 730 seconds piano wire will flex when you have a long piece of it like this. So I have two supports that one is located here and here on the keyboard so that that's very stable. And I have the one up here on the rockers. And I was able to get both of these supports and the end and center support for the rocker CNC water jet cut and then they were bent on a brake so then I knew that these holes were exactly the same as we went across here. The white keys are the heaviest and this white key is the heaviest of all of them. And all of these have a metal pin sticking down that goes into a guide hole here and that keeps those keys from going from side to side. The black keys are shorter and so they don't weigh as much. So for the rockers I had to use two lead weights to counterbalance the white keys and mainly because of the steel pin that was in there. But for the black keys I only needed to use a single lead weight. As you push these down, let's go over here, As you push the white keys down and then the black keys they all travel the same amount close enough anyway. The black keys were going down too far so I ended up having to instead of using one felt washer down here I had to use one and a half so that the travel of this and the travel of the white keys were the same at this point. And it's the travel here that I want to be the same because when I adjust this that's going to be pulling on a micro switch. Now I have a video showing how I modified the micro switches and installed them here to trigger the pallet magnets. And there's a pallet magnet that's located underneath this where the holes are drilled for the pipes. And every time this switch closes, it'll open this pallet magnet and let air go up to the pipe. Then when the switch goes off, the pallet magnet closes again. The calliope can be played from the keyboard when you press on a key, it pulls on a micro switch, and the micro switches are wired to the magnet drivers. The magnet drivers get the signal from the micro switch and they 
open and close the pallet magnets that lets air into each pipe. Or you can play music from the MIDI reader. You put an SD card in here with the MIDI files. There'll be a wire that goes from here to the side of the organ. And this is wired into the same magnet drivers. This is all made by Klinger Organ, a friend of mine down in Arkansas, Bill Klinger. So I hope that that makes this calliope very versatile, especially since I do not personally play an organ or a piano. I've made quite a few changes to this. The rockers, I've used these riser blocks and put my screw eyes in here. The original design showed long screw eyes, which I never could find. That's one reason why I did it this way. The use of bushings is different. The keys are different. The keys are longer. The keys are wider. The keys and the rockers are made of beech. That's a stable wood. doesn't change much with the variations in weather. Getting the keys in position, push rods, the holes for the push rods to come up to the rockers, getting the rockers spaced, and the spacing on these is a little bit different along here because of the different size of the keys. Some keys are, are quite narrow, some are wide, and that throws off where the uh, push rods are a little bit. Getting everything adjusted, it's a little bit tedious. You just take your time, don't get in too big of a hurry. When you push on a key, this rocker comes back. It's a piece of wood that goes in here, it's called the music rack. It's intended to be part of what holds sheet music when you're playing the organ. And those rockers could hit the back of this piece of wood. So I routed that out. So when these come back, there's clearance. There are easier ways to connect these keys to micro switches, but I wanted to maintain this mechanical visual appeal, if you will. This is enclosed with wood. You've got the music rack sitting here. So this is all protected from dust and everything. And unless you take this off and, and are able to, to play a piano or an organ, you can't see any of this. Robert Hamill plays his organ on YouTube. I watched his videos for several years before I was able to determine where this calliope originated and the fact that it was a Popular Mechanics article back in 1982. The next step is to take this all apart. I have a few changes to make in the cabinet or the case sand this down and finish it, install all the pallet magnets, and do all the wiring. Building this or an organ is like working on an old car. You put the car all together, make sure everything fits, then you take it all apart, you paint it, and then you put it all back together again. Much the same procedure on this calliope.